And now, aviation weather around Alaska. Flying weather for uh, Sunday morning, showing a lot of IFR here from the Bering Sea across southern Alaska, as well as uh, much of the southeast coast here. To the north, VFR, central interior to the Bering Strait, and IFR up there over the eastern Arctic coast areas with, mar or with marginal VFR for the north slope and the western Arctic coast. And out to the west here, not too bad, eastern Aleutians, VFR all the way to Atka, and some IFR getting close into ADAC for the afternoon. Kind of a band right through here, bringing some areas of IFR with it in across the eastern Aleutians. And some more IFR kind of breaking up now from the solid area it was tomorrow morning into the afternoon. Marginal VFR here for uh, South Central Alaska. IFR over the Copper River Basin and from the Talkeetna's eastward here, as well as the North Gulf Coast into the northern panhandle, v marginal VFR down to the south. And uh, northern half of the state, mostly VFR with some lingering areas of marginal VFR for the eastern Arctic coast. And then for uh, Monday morning, IFR, Northern Bering Sea, marginal VFR for the uh, Southern Bering Sea to the Central Aleutians, VFR from uh, Unalaska Island, Nikolsky, across the Alaska Peninsula, IFR here for the Northern Bering Sea down across the areas of uh, the Southwest interior here to Kodiak Island. A lot of marginal VFR now over the interior with areas from uh, the Yukon Flats, Northern Koyukuk Valley there and the northwest coast, uh, all the way to the Arctic coast, mostly VFR, IFR for the northern panhandle, improving to uh, areas of VFR down to the south. For the afternoon, southern panhandle, VFR, central north coast into Lynn Canal, marginal VFR, IFR for uh, Prince William Sound into the uh, eastern Turnigan Arm area, so that includes Portage, obviously, and Whittier, down into uh, the eastern Kenai Peninsula, Resurrection Bay, western Alaska range, some IFR as well, otherwise marginal across southern Alaska, north and east here from the mid Yukon River Valley over toward the border, VFR. VFR for the Arctic coast and north slope, areas of IFR over the northern Bering Sea, marginal VFR down to the south, but from about uh, Atka or maybe even Adak eastward here into the Alaska Peninsula, Kodiak Island, Bristol Bay, VFR passes for tomorrow and Etubik and Adigan, both looking good VFR for both those passes and for Lake Clark and Merrill marginal VFR rainy I'm sorry Lake Clark and Merrill IFR rainy marginal VFR and for Windy pretty marginal as well there and Isabel marginal Mintasta also marginal VFR and for Tanita IFR and Portage, IFR becoming marginal VFR in the afternoon. Chilkoot and White, IFR. Freezing levels here uh, at the surface, north of the Permalofs now, over the Bering Sea, but still right across Kodiak Island tomorrow morning in toward the uh, central and south coast of the Panhandle. 2,000 feet there, right over, uh, say, Port Alexander down to Prince of Wales Island. And icing, moisture lifting northward and pushing eastward here, so considerable moderate rime icing there for the uh, north, north coast of the Panhandle to about Yakutat, another batch here over southern Alaska. And then the next system pushing a band of, mar of considerable moderate rime icing as well here into the southern Bering Sea from the uh, Pribilof Islands or just south of the Pribilofs down across the eastern Aleutians, pushing into the Alaska Peninsula. And the jet stream here showing uh, southerly winds into the central Bering Sea turning westerly and then picking up to about 85 knots there across the Alaska Peninsula, clipping southern Kodiak Island, lighter up over the interior and south winds, south to north, 65 to 75 knots and across the northern and southeast coast. And for the uh, 9,000 foot winds, about 45 knots out of the south here. Uh, Yakutat, northern panhandle areas, lighter to the south, light over the interior. And then we've got uh, south winds with this uh, storm out over the Aleutians there. So we've got southerlies at about 65 knots over the Alaska Peninsula. And at 3,000 feet, south to southeast winds, 50 knots coming into the eastern Aleutians, Alaska Peninsula there, turning 
more easterly at about 60 knots blowing across the southern Bering Sea, then turning northerly up to 75 knots over a portion of uh, all around uh, Adak or so, becoming lighter out to the west. Easterly is 30 to 40 knots there from the central interior out across the Seward Peninsula and Bering Strait areas. And for turbulence, Yakutat area could see some uh, moderate turbulence tomorrow. More likely though, the Alaska Peninsula and the Aleutians, uh, pretty choppy and bumpy there for the day on Sunday, as well as St. Lawrence Island and the northern Seward Peninsula in toward Kotzebue Sound.